And then I go into my messages and there literally is four paragraphs from a drop shipper with instructions on how exactly I should ship this item. I mean, it's a remote. Alright, we have a little announcement and we're excited about this. We talked about it yesterday, but Reagan wanted to come on today and tell you that the website is live. You want to tell them where to find their mode? Commonwealthpicker.com Commonwealthpicker.com and you can go on there. And Now this might very well be gone. I know a lot of people said they were going to get it. It's $5 plus shipping and this is all, all the proceeds are going to go. This is the number one. She said she'd do more. All the proceeds are going to go to St. Jude's. And one dollar of the mug is going to go to St. Jude's. One dollar is going to go to Reagan's pocket mm -hmm. when in doubt parted out. <laughs> Look at you, quite the promoter there. And one dollar is going to go to her college, or she says slash car savings account. Maybe you put a dollar. Maybe Daddy will match that, and I'll I'll put it in the college savings account. You can put it in the car savings account, mm -hmm. and then the rest of the proceeds will go back to reimbursing me. And after that's done, we're going to keep that money and then invest it in a new product somewhere down the line. And we're teaching Reagan how to uh, basically how to run a business. So we're excited about it. She's really excited about it. And are you going to sign a business card and yes. put that in the mug as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. I might do the same thing and we'll ship those off. We are going to ship them first class, we decided, didn't we, Reagan? Mm -hmm. We did a video. I don't know if we put it out or not, but testing uh, mugs and if they will survive a nine foot drop and some did and some didn't. We're gonna send this first batch out first class and if you happen to get a mug that is broken please let us know. Take a picture of it, send it to my Instagram and we will send you another one. We have some other boxes we're gonna experiment with later but this was Reagan's decision this time and we're gonna see financially if it's a better decision. So our first so our shipping rates on there are gonna be first class shipping rates. How much is the mug? Uh, fourteen ninety five Four, plus shipping. Fourteen ninety five plus shipping, and the shipping is going to be a first class rate. So, anyway, thank you all so much, and we appreciate your support. And we will give you an update. Go ahead. Do you think they can go over there right now? You think they'll come back and watch the rest of the video? Yeah. I think so too. <laughs> Maybe we did. Commonwealthpicker dot com. You got it. Awesome. Thank you so much, and good luck, Reagan. Bye. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin, and we are in my eBay. No, we're not. We are in the Commonwealth cabin. You know, I did probably 250 episodes in there and just said, hey, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. We're in the eBay cave. So I've really got to get used to this. Welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. We are in the Commonwealth cabin and we had a bunch of sales. We have enough for two videos today, but we're, we're going to do as we normally do or as we occasionally do. We're going to do one video and I actually got to go pretty quick today because there's a couple things I want to fit in here today. At any rate, we are going to go pretty quick. I've actually pulled a lot of the items already here, and I've got two more that I just looked at my list, and we're going to go pull them real quick. So let's go take a look. And as we're going back there, I see I forgot. We've got some packages that showed up. Matter of fact, we have three. I pulled one aside today, and we'll look at those, and we'll take a look at those tomorrow. Here is one of these sales, and this one came from, I think, the Wednesday show. I think it aired yesterday on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. A nice little uh, pseudo garage sale, if you will. It wasn't really. It was a social distancing yard sale, I suppose. Private pick. And that is in rough condition, but you will see it. That uh, Commonwealth Flipper private pick, if you want to check that out. Maybe I can remember to link it. And then the other item, I probably should have just stayed back here. And I haven't sold one of these yet. Let's see. I think it's the Alaska bin. And... Oh, look at that. It's right on top. We don't have many of the pink ones. Little Fortnite costume that sold, and it was a retail arbitrage item. I think it was $2.50 we got it for at Walmart, so we'll talk about that one. All right, and I just looked over at my TV right here, and it reminded me that in this one right here, this is Paper and Moose, and if you guys are from Paper and Moose, Leave a comment below and tell tell me that Renee sent you over here. And we are glad you are here, so we do appreciate it. We love watching Renee at Paper and Moose, and she has been kind to us. So thank you very much, Renee. And if you don't know who she is and you want to get better at paper, 
And then she is a really, really good person to watch. I have learned a lot from her and I like to expand my knowledge. And I watch people that are a little outside of the box. Uh, Michelle over at Thrifting 101 because I like to learn about Pyrex and different kinds of things like that because I know they can make me more money out there if I know what I'm looking for. And Renee helps out a lot at Paper and Moose too. So thank you so much. And if you're here from Paper and Moose, leave a comment below. All right, first item up really is an awesome pair of vintage pants. Now, these almost all of them have some kind of condition issue, as do these right here. You can see it right there. But that is an awesome pair of pants. Silver so $22.95, free shipping. And this will actually stay under. This is not a heavy fabric. It's not going to go over a pound. So it'll definitely go first class. We're going to add that to our total from the Sunny Shares consignment sale. And it looks like I've put $10, but I'm thinking now it's first class. It might be a little bit more profit than that. I might have to recalculate that. So I'm going to recalculate that to a $14 profit. I've made a mess of that. I think I need to go back and do that on the last one as well. So $579 so far on that consignment sale. And we're splitting it 50-50 on the vintage clothing with Sunny. All right, I pulled this vintage Walkman out of my death pile. And Walkmans sell pretty good. Unfortunately, this one's kind of scuffed and scratched and it doesn't work. The radio works, cassette player doesn't work. But I still sold it for $4.81 plus shipping. So we're still gonna make a little bit of money on it. A little PlayStation Sonic, which of course Sonic is Sega, but sometimes they'll cross brand here. And they put all the classic Sonic stuff on PlayStation 3 and it sold and it has a little case here. So for $9.99 plus shipping. Here's another example of our when in doubt parted out right here. And this is the old school. This isn't the typical Flavor Wave oven or Flavor Wave oven pro. This is the Fane Flavor Wave Deluxe. And this is, I think, the very first type of these that came out like this. And it sold. This is just the heating element on top. We've parted it out. We're, we're already in the profit on this item. And so this is pure profit. $19.95 plus shipping. All right, here's that item I was talking about. It is a World War II, I believe it's like a bayonet. If you look right there, it's for a, a bayonet. And it is, I believe, Turkish. And these can go for as much as 50 bucks, but it is in terrible condition. And it doesn't have the little sheath for it to go in either. Is that what you call it, a sheath? I don't know. At any rate, it is uh, $12.95 plus shipping. And that's going to go on the uh, Seaward sale. And we'll let's take a look at that. All right, that item should bring us just about to our total cost we have into that. $69. We paid $70. Actually paid a little bit more, but some of the items I'm going to keep, so I deducted that from the total. So, so far we've broken even, so anything else I talk about from that sale should be pure profit at this point, and we still have quite a bit of stuff left. Matter of fact, I think I saw one sale about 20 minutes ago, right before we started this video, so we'll talk about that one tomorrow. But if you want to check that sale out, I'll put a link maybe right here, I think, right here. Uh, and you can go over there and check that one out, or maybe I'll put a link down below in the comments, or we'll put one on the end of the video. It is on the Commonwealth Flipper channel, and occasionally we put things over there. Eventually, everything in this show will be over there once we're out and about, hopefully doing garage sales in the future. And we'll just put uh, picking stuff on this channel and put all the other stuff on that channel. All right, here, here we have a Samsung remote. This is to a DVD-VCR combo. And so this is a drop shipper. Now, the first part of this isn't all that ridiculous, although it gets a little bit uh, irritating at times when you're dealing with drop shippers. But I mean, I usually do it because it, everything that they ask, I usually do anyway. So hello, thank you for selling me your item. Could you please leave out any packing slips, forms, or paperwork? Uh, that's pretty typical. Uh, we, I don't put any of that stuff in there anyways. We can view the packing slip digitally and it's eco-friendly if you do not include the packing slip in the package. So please leave out any paperwork. Smiley face. Okay, and that's fine. And then I go into my messages and there literally is four paragraphs from a drop shipper with instructions on how exactly I should ship this item. I mean, it's a remote. Now I realize it's just form letter that they send out and most of the time they're buying DVD VCRs but what they've done here is they bought a DVD VCR combo from somebody to drop ship it off to somebody and there was no remote but they sold it with a remote so they're buying my remote to ship it off. $9.95 free shipping for this remote and I'm perfectly fine with that. A lot of times drop shippers will pick people 
that have sold tons and tons of stuff and have a pretty decent track record because they know they're going to package stuff fairly well and get it to where it needs to be. But when I read that one message, first of all, I read half of it. I'm like, this is ridiculous. But I mean, it was like, it went into detail. Hey, you know, the USPS in times like this, they're throwing things all over the place and you have to double package and bubble wrap and do all this stuff. And I'm just like, I think this thing's going to probably be all right. So at any rate, $9.95, free shipping, and we're happy to get rid of another remote. We have been making a ton of money on remotes lately, and I think almost half of them sold already. All right, here's a little hint when you're listing these kind of items, you know, costumes and things like that. You know, put cosplay, C-O-S, play, costume play, in the listing and uh, you will beat half your competition because they don't have it in the listing. And that's how I listed these. There's a ton of competition out there for these. And I don't think I did any kind of promoted listing. And people ask me about promoted listings. I almost never do it. But on an item like this, I would consider it because this was a retail arbitrage item from Walmart. And I got them for $2.50 a piece. So we got them really cheap. And they are light. I'm going to ship them just like this. First class. Going to put them in a poly bag. And they'll probably be right about 12 ounces. So this one sold for $19.90 and it was a 250 buy. So we're not making a ton of money on this, but it's probably close to, to about a $9 profit. Depends on the shipping if it's 12 ounces or 16 ounces on an item like this. And we bought a bunch of them. Here's part of a filter queen. This is old style. I think model 31. And this one sold for $21.95 for just the hose. I think that's right. Yeah, $21.95 plus shipping on this hose. Bought the whole machine for $3.99. I think we're selling four parts. So we're already having like maybe a $14 profit or so on this item. And the other three items will be pure profit when we part them out like that. So love parting old vacuum cleaners out. Give it a shot sometime. Not just any vacuum cleaner, mind you. All right, so we're gonna look at a homeschool hustler sale here in just a second. And don't forget at the end of the video, go check out Paper and Moose, she's amazing. All right, we have Reagan with us, and we had a sale out of the Homeschool Hustler store. Reagan, you want to tell us what's sold? A Lady in the Tramp. All right, it's called a lithograph. Would you turn around and show us the pictures? Mm -hmm. And it is still sealed, but it does have a little damage to the seal right here, so it's not perfect. Initially, it was $14.95. Commonwealth Grammy sent that to us, along with some other stuff to sell, and we did just that. $11.99 plus shipping rate. All right, thank you, Reagan. I forgot that we had another homeschool hustler sale, and Turner came down to help. And wherever Turner goes, Sophie goes, doesn't she? Yeah. She loves you, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah, those cats usually follow you around, too, especially yeah. Boots. Yeah. I think I think you're the only, only one that Boots likes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this sold out of the homeschool hustler store. $4.99 plus shipping for that little one. If the little thermos was in it, it would be at least 25 bucks, But it's not. Oh, you sleepy girl? Oh, all right. Well, you two better get upstairs. You yeah. got some cars playing to do, don't you, buddy? Yeah, we did it. Oh, you already yeah. played? <laughs> all right, buddy. Thanks for coming. Bye. All right, we're going to get through these fairly quickly here. So this is an Avalon board game, and this is one that we picked up for, I think, two bucks. And it sold for $17.41 uh, plus shipping. And this is going a ways away because you're shipping on this a little pricey, so... See if we can find a little bit better way to ship it and save uh, a little bit of money. So, at any rate, Betrayal at the House on the Hill. And everything was here. It's got a little tape on it, but not a bad little game. Took a long time to sell. $17.41 plus shipping. It's another Liberty shirt from the Uncle Dave sale. And so this is Pebble Beach, and it is XL. Liberty University sold for $12.95 plus shipping. This guy is going out to Christina, and Christina writes, Hi, Kevin. I'm a faithful viewer of both of your channels and now the Homeschool Hustlers channel as well. I started reselling in January and have learned so much from you, Matt, Lonnie, and John. I really appreciate how you and Blue Ridge Mama are raising your kids. I am sure they will be great adults who will make a difference in this world. So, well, let's cross our fingers anyways. I would like a misfit in a man, a misfit in a man, and I have a special request can Blue Ridge Mama sign one for me? <laughs> she will love to hear that. You don't even know. You just made her day. Uh, I bet she is the rock of the family. Uh, no doubt. She is She is that for sure. Thank you, Christina. Canny? Canay? Canay? Treasures. 
So thank you so much. We do appreciate it. And we wish you great luck, and we hope he gets things moving for you. Had another Red Hot Chili Peppers hat go out, the UFO hat. 99 cent buy at the Goodwill. Bought tons of them. Have three left at this point, I think. And says to a viewer, it's to Rick. It says, hi, Kevin. Big fan of your YouTubes. Always learning new stuff that I can use for my eBay business. Thanks for sharing, Rick. Rick, thank you so much. We appreciate the purchase. And we hope you enjoy it. It's a nice little hat. I mean, $9.95 free shipping. You know, can't beat that unless you got a Goodwill that has them, I suppose. All right, we have a classic Dale Earnhardt hat. It's got the little rope around the bottom. This is unbranded. Well, it's got a, a Cobra brand in here. But this is more than likely kind of a flea market knockoff hat right here. But it is cool, and it is vintage. And it sold for $24.88. And this particular hat has a great story. Not this one, but I bought a lot of Dale hats at a garage sale. And some of them were amazing. I bought Shark Tooth Dale hats. Shark Tooth hats are the one... Well, I'll tell you what. Maybe I'll do a video on Shark... I've done a video on Shark Tooth hats, actually. If I can remember, I'll link it. But I probably won't remember that one. They're basically... They look like waves on the hat. A lot of you know what I'm talking about out there. And I sold a couple of Shark Tooth Dale hats for, I think, between 40 and 80 bucks. One for 70, 75, something like that. And then one for like 39.95. And we bought like 15 hats. I think I spent, I spent, I paid up for them. I think I paid $3 a piece, which is paying up for a hat for me. And we made a ton of money on these hats. And this one, and then I think there's one more hanging back here somewhere. I think I might just have, oh, there's one right here. Can you see it? Yeah, that number three. I think that might be the last hat we have left. So that's a pretty cool one. $24.88 plus shipping. All right, thank you all for joining us. And see if I can remember, and we'll link Manitarium either to the description or we'll put it right now. We'll put it somewhere in Paper and Moose as well. If you, do go, if you don't know who Paper and Moose is, you should. For one, and if you do go check her out, tell them Kevin sent you. So she's awesome. So anyway, thank y'all for joining us. As always, you guys are terrific to us, as always, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, everybody, I have got to take this opportunity. Just got an amazing gift in the P.O. box, and I've got to show it to you. This is from Manitarium. Here is his card right here, and he sent us these plates. Now, it's amazing for him to send all these plates, but there's a little bit behind each one, and he told me a story, and he also told me you know, a few personal things about him and the fact that he has gone through what he has gone through lately and is as positive as he is, is amazing. And I just want to show you his channel real quick. This is his channel. I'm not sure if you found me or if I found you, to be honest, because when I saw all those license plates, I don't know how you popped up, but I started watching and it is interesting to say the least. So this is, I mean, just look at those. He, he says he owns 1,500 Iowa 1963 plates. So, I mean, this guy here, you know, he, he puts my plate collection, which is just infantile, to shame. So, Jeff is the real deal right here. And look at the vintage hats we got on right here. I mean, this is good stuff. At any rate, if you get a chance, go check out his channel and tell him I sent you over there. He uh, sent a really, really nice note with all these and I just wanted to show them to you really quick. I mean, look at this one. Manitoba. It's got the buffalo head on it. I love that one. I, I'm tempted to put that one in here because I like it so much. I might put it on a bin. I'm not sure. Victoria. I mean, this one's coming all the way from Australia, which is amazing. And that's the real deal. So we might put that on a bin as well. He said this reminded him of me because of the, the fact that I'm a school teacher. The Iowa Plate 63. So this is this is what he collects. And so very, very kind of you to, uh, to pass that one on to us. And this is Great Depression Iowa right here. That is awesome. So thank you so very much, Jeff. We do appreciate it, and we wish you the best of luck. Hey, I just saw the backside of Jeff at Manitarium's note, and I just have to read it to you. I've been a big fan of the channel for quite a while now, but the last few months have allowed me to dig deeper into into all of your episodes is my girlfriend had stage four colon cancer and I did hospice at home with her and I had time to watch more. I lost her last week and I am healing myself now. I only ask one thing. I I only ask one thing from you. Remind people to get their colonoscopies. It would have saved her life. So let me tell you, I have figured out what we are going to do eventually with the other one of these 
and we are going to auction one of these off the scrub that we got from Patriot Picker and we are going to donate it to the cancer charity of your choice Jeff so and anyway thanks so much and uh, our thoughts and our prayers are with you